This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, visit LibriVox.org. Good Things to Eat as Suggested by Rufus By Rufus Estes Section 19 Souffles and Fillings for Cakes Souffles Asparagus souffle. Only very tender asparagus should be used. Cut it fine and boil tender in salted water. Add the well-beaten yolks of four eggs, one tablespoonful of soft butter, a saltspoon of salt, and a little pepper. Then fold in the stiffly beaten whites of eggs and bake in a steady oven. Canned asparagus can be substituted for fresh. Cabbage Souffle Chop a solid white head of cabbage and cook in salted water until tender. Drain and place in a butter dish in layers with a sprinkling of grated cheese between. Mix two tablespoonfuls each of flour and butter. Add one cupful of rich milk, the beaten yolks of two eggs, and a saltspoon of salt and mustard. Stir over the fire until it boils. Then add the stiffly beaten whites of eggs. Pour over the cabbage and bake for half an hour. Cheese Souffle Mix together one half cup bread crumbs, a quarter teaspoon salt, a half teaspoon full mustard, and a dash of cayenne. Add a tablespoonful butter, a cup and a half milk, and cook over hot water. When heated, remove. Add, while hot, two cups grated cheese and the well-beaten yolks of three eggs. Cool. When ready to bake, add the beaten whites of four eggs and a cup of whipped cream. Fill individual cups half full, set in a pan of hot water, and bake fifteen minutes in a quick oven. Corn Souffle To one pint of sweet grated corn, canned corn, Drain and run through a food chopper, which may be used. Add the well-beaten yolks of two eggs, one pint of sweet milk, one small teaspoonful of salt, one and one-half tablespoons full of sugar, and the stiffly beaten whites of the eggs. Mix well and bake in a buttered casserole or ramequins for 40 minutes. Guernsey Cheese Souffle Pin a narrow folded paper, thoroughly buttered on the inside, around six or eight ramekins, and butter the ramekins thoroughly. Melt two tablespoonfuls butter, and in it cook two tablespoonfuls of flour, and a quarter teaspoonful each of salt and paprika. When the mixture looks frothy, stir in half a cup of milk and stir until boiling. Then add four ounces grated cheese and the beaten yolks of three eggs. Lastly, fold in the stiffly whipped whites of three eggs. Put the mixture into the ramekins, letting it come up to the paper or nearly to the top of the dishes. Set the ramekins on many folds of paper in a dish. Pour in boiling water to half full and let bake in a moderate oven until the mixture is well puffed up and firm to the touch. Remove the buttered paper, set the ramekins in place, and serve at once. A green vegetable salad seasoned with French dressing and a brown cracker may accompany the dish. Souffle of Carrots Boil the carrots and mash them fine. Add a little sugar to taste, a pinch of salt, a spoonful of flour, and a good lump of butter the well-beaten yolks of four eggs, and lastly, fold in the stiffly beaten whites. Bake in a quick oven in the dish in which it may be served. Tomato Souffle Stew three cupfuls of tomato down to two. Add seasoning to taste and six eggs, the whites beaten stiff, and bake for ten or fifteen minutes, or until set. Serve as soon as done. Fillings for Cakes 
Coffee Cream for Charlotte and Eclair. Flavor one pint of rich thick cream with one fourth cup of black coffee and one teaspoon of lemon. Add about half a cup of sugar, chill, and whip it until thick enough to stand. Pour it into molds lined with thin sponge cake or lady fingers. Fill them level and ornament the top with some of the cream forced through a tube. Filling For the filling, scald one cup of milk with three level tablespoons of ground coffee and let stand where it will be hot but not to boil for five minutes. Strain. Add one half cup of sugar, three level tablespoons of flour, and a pinch of salt. Cook in a double boiler 15 minutes. Add one beaten egg and cook two minutes, stirring to keep smooth. Cool and add one quarter teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. Fill the cream cakes and cover with cream beaten thick, sweetened with powdered sugar, and flavored with a few drops of vanilla. Filling for cake. Soak a level tablespoon of gelatin in one tablespoon of cold water for half an hour. Add one tablespoon of boiling water and stir. Beat one pint of cream stiff. Then beat in the soaked gelatin. Add powdered sugar to make sweet and a small teaspoon of vanilla flavoring or enough to suit the taste. Put this filling in thick layers between the cakes and cover the top one with a white icing. Fig or date frosting. These frostings are excellent to use upon any kind of cake, but as they are rather rich in themselves, they seem better suited for light white cake. If figs are preferred, they should be chopped fine. If dates, the stones and as much as possible of the white lining should be removed, and then they should be chopped fine. For a good sized loaf of cake, baked in two layers, use a scant quarter of a pound of either the chopped dates or figs, put into a double boiler or saucepan with a very little boiling water, just enough to make the mass pliable. Let them stand in heat while the syrup is boiling. For this, two cups of fine granulated sugar and a half cup of boiling water are required. Boil without stirring them till the syrup, taken upon the spoon or skewer, will thread. Do not allow it to boil too hard at first. When the sugar is thoroughly melted, move the saucepan to a hotter part of the stove so that it may boil more vigorously. Have ready the whites of two eggs beaten dry. Now to them add the fig or date paste and pour the boiling syrup in a fine stream over the two, beating all the time. Beat occasionally while cooling, and when thoroughly cold, add one teaspoonful of lemon extract, and it is ready for use. These frostings may be a trifle sticky the day they are made, especially if the syrup is not boiled very long, but the stickiness disappears by the second day, even if kept in a stone jar. Lemon Jelly Grate two lemons, add the juice, one cup of white sugar, one large spoonful of butter, and the yolks of three eggs. Stir constantly over the fire until it jellies. When cold, spread between cakes. Maple Icing Scrape half a pound of maple sugar and melt. Add two tablespoons of boiling water. While hot, pour over the cake. Be sure to melt the sugar before adding the water. Mocha Filling and Icing A rich but much liked filling for small cakes is made by boiling one cup of sugar and one half cup of very strong or very black coffee together until the syrup will thread. In the meantime, wash one cup of sweet butter in cold water to take out all the salt. Put in a piece of cheesecloth and pat it until all the moisture is dried out. Beat until creamy, adding slowly the beaten yolk of one egg and the syrup. Spread this filling between layer cakes, 
but it is more often used to pipe over the top of small cakes. Orange Filling One half cup of sugar, two and one half level tablespoons flour, grated rind of one half orange, one third cup of orange juice, one tablespoon lemon juice, one egg beaten slightly, one teaspoon melted butter. Mix the ingredients and cook in a double boiler for 12 minutes, stirring constantly. Cool before using. End of Soufflés and Fillings for Cakes Read by Dennis Sayers in Modesto, California, Summer 2006 for LibriVox